Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't do what I do. People ask me why I am the way I am. <laughs> I don't know why. So we're just gonna stab the heck out of it. You can pretend this is someone you don't like, whatever you want. Yeah, I don't eat meat, so there's that problem. She's pescatarian. Just eat fish. <laughs> Should we tell him why he can't eat fish? <laughs> My mom has mercury poisoning. Yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, it's where's the meat? Or we have the meat. We have the meat. We have the meat. We have the meat. <laughs> My brain is only half functioning because I've only half drunk my coffee. I always start my day with a coffee. I like it creamy and sweet, and I also like to support a small business, but I only get it out of the house like three or four times a week. If I make it at home, I just use a bunch of whipping cream and sugar. That's my jam. If I'm in LA, not quite a small business, kind of a small business, I'll go to Phil's Coffee. I'm talking about coffee too much. Let's get actual food in our system. Yeah, you see, on weekends, I make a big sit down breakfast. Well, actually I don't. I live with my family and my parents love to cook, thankfully, and so they'll make like a big breakfast. But if I'm cooking for myself, I'm doing a microwave oatmeal. But we spice it up, okay? Lots of ways to spice up your oatmeal, you guys. One, unesthetic, very used and loved oatmeal. And, and I know if you're watching this and you're not American, you're gonna say, use the kettle. I'm American, I use the microwave. I apologize. For some reason, when I'm in a rush, I just go to the microwave. I also don't like to make more dishes than necessary, so everything is multi-purpose. <laughs> Chefs clean as they cook. <laughs> I'm not a chef. While well, we cook, moment for the fit. Moment for the fit. Okay, I got these pants for like 20 bucks from a boutique in town, but I swear I've seen them on Amazon. I'm gonna find that link and I'm gonna link it for you because this waffle knit softness, so comfy. Joan Brown purchased four years ago. Their stuff is overpriced. It really is, but the quality, oh, oatmeal's done, is superb. This Love Shack Fancy, but if you get it on the rear row, you can get a $400 sweater for sometimes 70, 60 bucks, okay? Order up. Some people might say you need a cutting board for this, but I disagree. Again, less dishes, more fun. I take a banana and I squish it in the peel. Elite move right here, okay? This is gonna add sweetness to your oatmeal and kind of a creaminess. Your goop might look like this. Mix it together, okay? This is not where it's visually stunning. You really wanna start your day with some carbs. You wanna give yourself some energy. Carbs are not an enemy by any means. You gotta add some, some real stuff, okay? Brown sugar in oatmeal is the only sugar that deserves to be in oatmeal. Measure with your heart, you guys. Measure with your heart and your eyes. If you're like, Brittany, what about protein? Protein is also very important, okay? I'm doing this almond butter, the best almond butter in the world. If you aren't allergic to peanuts, dare I say peanut butter is better. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't wanna go into anaphylactic shock. Oh. That much seems like the right amount. I wanna make this aesthetic for you guys, so I'm gonna to try to like, you know, they do like layers on TikTok where like certain things. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Brittany, what about the rest of the banana Design feature? Don't do what I do. Using my cutting board of a banana, we're just gonna let it ride. I don't know what it is, but my self-tan smells like onions. And that's been confirmed. I had my friend smell me. I just want raisins. <laughs> There's no raisins. There's not gonna be raisins. Moving on. We are going to, so dangerous, so dangerous. There's only a matter of time. I get to see the ER where I live now. I haven't been before. Final touches, whipping cream, okay? I gotta get my other camera. I like to make it like a little, oops, a little boat. Can we please just pretend that this looks a lot better than it does? Trust me at least that it tastes, why, why do I have a fork? Where'd my spoon go? Okay, I'm just gonna eat it with more. That this tastes a lot better than it looks. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of giving banana cream pie and strawberry short dough at the same time.
It's so good. It looks so bad, but it's so good. Okay, so we have. Oh, you're just jumping in. Okay, I'm jumping Martha right in. Stewart. Potatoes. <laughs> potato, potato. Okay. So. <laughs> I'll let you take this. Okay. Okay. See, this knife is really sharp. <sighs> no. So, we want to poke holes in here. And so, we're just going to stab the heck out of it. You can pretend this is someone you don't like. You know, whatever you want. Just like this. Be careful. Ah, if my husband saw me, he'd be like, get that knife out of her hands. Because yeah. I do cut myself sometimes. And this, so we have two for the, for us, because we're big. And then one little one for yeah. Arrow. And this is second lunch for Arrow. We tried first lunch. Yeah. She does school lunch. She didn't like it. Let's go to the microwave. Go! <laughs> I did it for 11. That's oh. one and one. Make 11. People ask me why I am the way I am. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I love your song. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we get to spend 11 minutes. 11 together. minutes. What we drink? You want milk with your Cheerios? Yeah. yeah. I have a thing of milk here, but... Oh, I, oh you've got... Do you want, you want to pour your milk into your Cheerios? Um, that, that was my bowl. Oh. We're just going to get all of the toppings ready. I'm going to give it a little <laughs> scoopy... Ow. I'm just gonna handle it. Are you okay? Just chop, chop, chop. Oh, so you can get all the flavor in every. Yeah, and you can even do another chop there. Cheese. Cheesy cheese. And of course, that's gonna also be on now because we want it to melt with the heat. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna put some microgreens on here. <gasps> Makes it so pretty. This is prettier. Very beautiful. And again, you could add chili on top. Mm. You could do like a little taco version of it. You Chopped tomatoes. Bacon. Oh yeah, Ch uh, chicken. It's just a really easy thing to do. Yeah. People put broccoli on it. They put... Ooh, broccoli and cheddar. Um, broccoli yeah, cheddar broccoli soup. and cheddar would be great on this. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go eat this at the table. We'll yep. see you for dinner. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hot. How are you doing that? It's easy. The Granny Smith is the ultimate choice for this because the tartness with the tart yogurt and then you put the honey on top, it's just like... Oh, it's like a candy apple. It's so good. Mm -hmm. For my daughter, I just take requests. She wanted green apple, strawberries, and her surprise are golden kiwis. Just kind of like a little fruit salad to go. I would have given her yogurt, but she's gonna eat this when we watch a show in bed. I don't know, that's my favorite way to live my life. And I just don't trust her with open yogurt like I have, unless it's in a pouch. Or even like a cup, but yeah, fruit salad for her. I'll be back at dinner. We're gonna have an avocado salad, so we get some greens in there, that's healthy. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a porterhouse steak for some protein. And then we're gonna have some really yummy French bread just heated with some butter. Ooh. Yeah, and I don't think we really need anything else because tonight, tonight we're gonna have dessert. I don't know what yet, but we're gonna have it. What? Are we? Um, the mango stickers? Yeah. Not to me. You have to make rice <laughs> and get the recipe out and do all that. Do you not want to make the sticky rice and mango? We can eat ice cream sandwiches. Let's do that. And just a little salad. And here I have some lettuce. I often put red onions and tomatoes and avocados, but we're out of red onions, out of uh, tomatoes. So. It's an avocado salad. This is my dressing. I always make it and have extra. It is olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and you just do it to taste yum. I'm just scooping this out, and I take it and I just flip it because there's always a little something there. You just gotta, ooh, this time a lot, but that's okay. We just get rid of it. Very favorite tool. Oh, I love it. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. Amazing. Incredible. 
I'll, I'll find that on Amazon and link it down below. <laughs> <laughs> Spray a little bit on what's up here on the avocado and we're gonna set it aside. I don't like brown avocados. We should do a meat trigger warning. A meat trigger warning. <laughs> I'm just putting a little olive oil on it. Way I'd love for someone to do that to me. Olive oil? Just brush olive oil all over. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Not after it touched the meat. Then no. But that would be a nice spa treatment. Someone to take Ooh, one of these and just oil yeah. your whole body. I think they must do that somewhere. Why don't you just dip yourself in a big pool of oil and get out and have a massage? I think we should fill the bathtub with a bunch of oil. No, now this is starting to sound like dipping. So I like to use this mold on salt. It's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Do you want I to do get like a close up of that? Um, I don't know if we need a close up of the meat. Okay, you just have a meat problem. Maybe when it's cooking. Then we should hear a sizzle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. That's what you want. I have not cooked or cut a steak in a while. It's kind of medium here. Is that gonna, that's good, right? Yeah, I like medium. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. I did a good job. Yeah, unlike me, my mom likes to use as many dishes as humanly possible for one And I appreciate it. But it's we're, not as, We're very different in that way. It's not as pretty. It's beautiful. I love that's it. Porter House. Porter House. Yeah. I feel like most people know about a straight knife. But I said that last time we were filming together. And they did not know? Three the wind? No. Oh. And, and you were about to explain it, and I said, everyone knows what that yeah, is. Yeah, serrated means it's kind of like uneven here scalloped. and scalloped. It slices right through the bread. You can see, it's like a saw. Whereas this is more like a blade. I feel like we're in a horror movie. I know, <laughs> I know. This is a saw, and this is a blade. Yes. <laughs> and this is bread. Plated. I plated it. I feel like you could have done a better job, but here she is. I hope that you enjoyed us and enjoyed this video and learned something or just had fun with us. And uh, I will see you in next Monday's video, potentially with my mom. We'll see. I almost forgot. Okay, yes, we're in my closet. Yes, there is a freezer. No, I'm not Dexter. Ha, I got them. These are the best little dessert. We found them because my mom's lactose intolerant and they are the so delicious dairy-free ice cream sandwiches. One for me, one for my daughter, and one for grandma. I feel like it's gonna be one of those things where it doesn't look as good as it tastes, okay? I ate my hair, that's okay. It's like the perfect firmness. I don't even like ice cream sandwiches. That's a wrap. Bye guys.